very clear when it comes to uh, uh, the debt, the debt ceiling. Sorry, there's something flying around. Um, that should be done without conditions. Uh, that should be done just like S Speaker McCarthy himself and other Republicans when they got together with Democrats the last uh, the three times in the last administration. They should deal with this. Uh, this is their constitutional duty to make that happen. As it relates, uh, as it relates to the budget, we saw uh, what uh, Speaker McCarthy and MAGA wing of the Republican Party put forth, which was we believe is, is cruel. We we believe which will be uh, really harm uh, American families who are. Uh, struggling every day to make uh, ends meet. That's what what they put forward, their plan, their blueprint, that's what it tells us. If you look at the 22% cuts in veterans in veteran services, if you look at how they want to cut Meals on Wheels, they want to cut uh, uh, law enforcement uh, funding, that's what it shows. So we're going to take a look at it. We're going to look at the impacts uh, of, uh, of the plan, the blueprint that they put forth. Uh, and uh, we appreciate uh, that the, the speaker put that, to put that together. And look, the president has been very clear. Uh, you know, show me your budget, and I'll show you what you value. We have seen what the Republicans uh, in Congress, in the House specifically, along with the Speaker, Speaker Mark Carthy, value, and this is what they put forward yesterday. Something that we believe will harm American families. Okay. Can I ask a follow-up there? Um, when the president announced his budget, he said, "quote I'm ready to meet with the speaker anytime tomorrow if he has his budget." He has now put forward a proposal, so will there be a meeting? Well, I just said we're going to look at the impact uh, of of the plan that they put forward. We're going to take a look at it. I've said that already. Uh, right now, what we are, what we see with the 22% uh, spending cuts that they put forward, it's going to hurt education, it's going to hurt veterans, medical, veterans medical, medical care, meals on wheels, food safety. So that's what we're seeing right now. But we're going to take a closer look. We're going to analyze that. We appreciate the speaker uh, for putting this forward. Uh, but again, it doesn't stop them for acting right away, immediately, to put a to put a piece of legislation on the floor to make sure that we do not default. That, we should not be, Congress, uh, specifically Speaker McCarthy and the and the right wing, the MAGA extremists, should not be holding our economy, you know, to uh, to put forth programs that's going to hurt American people. Dearest friends, this is important news. The Internal Revenue Service has just released new information for all taxpayers. Millions of Americans are being urged to take action as quickly as possible if they don't want to miss out on extra relief payments. This check can be worth thousands of dollars. My friends, please make sure that you watch until the end of this video. Also tomorrow, I will be announcing several winners for the Walmart gift card giveaway. If you'd like to enter the weekly giveaway, friends, all you have to do is click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, friends, the greater your chances of winning the weekly giveaways. For most Americans, April 18th is the final day to file taxes without facing late fees or interest. However, the Internal Revenue Service has given taxpayers in several U.S. states that were affected by tornadoes or other severe weather, more time to submit their federal income tax returns. And when it comes to state taxes, a majority of states adhere to the federal government's timetable, but some have their own schedule. The tax agency has delayed the filing deadline in numerous states that were affected by severe weather conditions. New York residents affected by winter storms and snowstorms in December have until May 15, 2023 to file their tax returns and make necessary payments. Taxpayers in Arkansas, Mississippi, and Tennessee who were affected by tornadoes, high winds, and severe storms in March now have until July 31, 2023. Due to winter storms, mudslides, and other natural disasters, the IRS has also given residents of Alabama California and Georgia until October 16, 2023 to file their federal returns and make payments. Receiving an extension does not change a payment deadline. It just gives you until October 16th to complete the relevant paperwork. The tax agency says 
Taxpayers who file electronically and are due a refund can expect it within 21 days if they choose direct deposit and there are no issues with their tax return. By law, the Internal Revenue Service must wait to issue refunds to taxpayers who claim the Earned Income Tax Credit or any additional child tax credit. There are two basic penalties that the IRS charges for filing taxes late when you owe money. A failure to file penalty and a failure to pay penalty. And on top of that, you will also pay interest on the amount that you owe. The failure to file penalty hurts the most. It's generally 5% of the amount that you owe for each month or part of a month that your return is late with a maximum penalty of 25%. So if your return is more than 60 days late, the minimum penalty is $435 or the balance of your taxes due, if less than that. The failure to pay penalty will also cost you money, but not nearly as much. It's a big reason to file an extension on time, even if you cannot pay anything. This penalty is usually calculated at 0.5% of any taxes owed that are not paid by the deadline. The IRS again charges a penalty for each month or part of a month that your payment is late with a maximum penalty of 25%. While the median unclaimed 2019 refund is $893, half of those 1.5 million taxpayers would receive more, especially considering that in 2019, eligible taxpayers could get up to $6,557 if they were eligible for the earned income tax credit. So friends, if you haven't filed your 2019 tax return, please make sure that you do so as soon as possible. This week, Senate Democrat Joe Manchin said during an event at the Chamber of Commerce, that he would be reintroducing his legislation that failed to get enough support during a vote in the Senate last year. Senator Manchin also said he would take a look at Republicans' energy package, known as HR1, and said it was wrong for Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer to oppose the Republican bill. Both Senator Manchin, who chairs the Senate Energy and Natural Resources Committee, and leaders on the Environment and Public Works Panel indicated they would work on permitting reform issues in their committees. Senate Republican Shelley Moore Capito, the ranking member of the Environment and Public Works Committee, stressed the need to get the policy right, while also expressing openness to include permitting reform in a potential package that would address the debt ceiling. Today, President Biden made pledges to bolster the United States' international climate spending against a harsh reality. Republicans stand in the way of the promises he's making to nations most vulnerable. Republicans stand in the way of the promises that he's making to nations most vulnerable to rising temperatures. President Biden's $1 billion commitment to the Green Climate Fund, a major international climate aid vehicle, sought to burnish U.S. credibility after the former president and congressional Republicans had zeroed out U.S. contributions for the program. Biden also said he would work with Congress to approve $500 million over five years to combat rainforest deforestation through Brazil's Amazon Fund program. So, dearest friends, what are your thoughts about climate change? Please let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Well, my awesome and most amazing friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video for this Thursday. Thank you, dear friends, for being here every day and for being part of this community. To say thank you and to show my appreciation, I will be announcing several winners this coming Friday for the Walmart gift card giveaway. If you would like to enter the giveaway, friends, all you have to do is click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you watch and then comment on, the greater your chances, dearest friends, of winning the giveaways. Thank you and have a wonderful and very blessed week.